D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video another train rooftop RTU or RTAC monster this train unit I did a couple of videos on a similar unit all right this is the train unit with the IntelliPak all right so I did a, I did a couple of videos on a similar unit on a different job site currently I'm in New York City all right I'm in New York City and in this video now I'm going to show you how I fixed this train rooftop unit this monster it was on its knees it was down how I have awakened this monster by just removing this one wire this is it this this is this is how I fix this unit this is how I do it just uninstalling this one wire and I have awakened this beast all right this beast was down by removing this one wire or uninstalling that one wire I've awakened the beast so if you want to know how I do that what was the deal stick around but before we get into the video before I explain what was happening here what I did hit that subscribe button smash the bell icon so when I upload videos like these you get them right away all right so this student was down since yesterday and apparently it's an emergency because this is a school and you know kids are back to school now and you know you got a bunch of people in the classroom or kids in the classroom or students in the classroom and uh, you know we can't have we can't have that if we have no AC so this is rather critical rather critical situation all right so uh, um, I came in here did some troubleshooting um, in the sense where this unit I know it's been it is controlled from the BAS network can you see that I know it's a bit difficult because the screen is glossy and reflective and it's also windy up here so it's probably difficult to hear me but that is how I do it on my channel this is real world real HVAC real time all right so this is what you get on my channel no editing you get it from the field raw data so, so basically I know this unit is, is controlled not as a standalone um, it is done through the BAS or BMS system so the issue was um, when you arrive at the unit the display shows unit off all right it shows unit off when you hit auto it will just flash a couple of times and it still remain unit off okay so after doing some digging all right i'm checking all my inputs you know our, our external connections you know to make sure that um no, no external switch is holding the unit out um i came across this right here all right now as you can see this wire came off terminal six all right that's why it's dangling Okay. Terminal 6 is this TB, uh, 1 TB4, Terminal 6. All right, you can see that. Now, all these wires here, all these, the remainder from, from Terminal 6 through Terminal 10, 6 to 10, it goes to either, I don't know, schematic right here, so I do it real time. It goes to either Zone Temp, uh, uh, it said CV, I zoomed that in. Yep. CV or VAV remote panel with night setback. All right. So it's either it's going to that, or it's going to a what is this one called here? This looks like it's just a regular train thermostat, right? Or it's a constant volume remote panel. All right. All right. So either are, 
because you can see where you know if you're doing this part of the connection part of the connection going to this panel here if you're using this panel as also this panel also have different you know connections to it but part of this bit right here goes to it and if you're using this panel here which is the uh, constant volume or VAV uh, remote panel with night setback if you're using this panel all you're going to be terminated is just these terminals right here so after um, I verify that you know external stops stuff like this one right here where is it this one right here not this one where is it uh, da, 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 da. Let me find it right here right here I verify stuff like this is good this one right here external stop external slash auto stop uh, I verify that these stuffs are good all these are good all right um, last thing I did I did a unit test so I went to do the service test did a, you know if you don't know the door system test you guys want, me, want to see me do a video and how to put this system in a uh, test mode or service mode leave it in the comment you know what I mean I forget if I, if I have more than 10 people come in to do it then I'll do a video on that so I did that's the last thing I did and then uh, I realized that because this is connected I figured this is pot potentially or possible that this could be preventing the unit from running because it has a uh, system on input here so if you have a system on the opposite of that is system off and that's what it was shown up there unit off okay that's what it was shown on the display here so I said alright let me just do this right here we got uh, where is it where is it right here so we have heat cool system on service and we have ground so this whole panel right here this whole device right here and even this device I don't know this one here gets 24 was up top nope doesn't yeah so so there's another ground going in this one as well a common so with that I, th I think that what we have on this side is this one right here so when I remove wire number six as you can see right here uh, it says uh, TB one TB four six right here when I remove that wire the reason why I remove that wire because that's the ground if you remove the ground all of this right here is futile because you need a ground or a common with power for anything electronically to work all right so when I remove this ground once I remove this ground I know I'm gonna render this uh, panel here useless you know what I'm saying it's gonna be useless and um, once I take the wire out I got this diagnostics to confirm that which panel I have <laughs> hit the diagnostic and I'm gonna press diagnostic I'm gonna press say press next to view okay and what do we have here active diagnostics night setback panel come failure all right so by my removing that wire I literally knocked where is it this panel here this panel here out of commission and once that happens the machine came to life and give me this diagnostics which tells me that out of every effort that panel is either, either I didn't see this yet I didn't go and look at it either on that panel there's a on off a button system on off and it's off or the panel is malfunctioning all right but this is how I got this machine to run this beast to run we're doing three stages of cooling right now you're occupied let me see if I can get some some temperatures you know uh, what is this uh if I go next on this one here general menu uh, compressor menu let's go in there all right so we got now it's really difficult because this screen is reflective so we're gonna get a good angle compressor enabled they're on I can't really see what this thing is saying compressor k12 and k11 they are on and enabled on again that's another compressor and enabled off but it's enabled doesn't need a fourth compressor all right evolve one circuit one 
Evaporator entering, oh wow. Evaporator entering 49. Now, from the previous video, we know that this is our metering device, our TXV outlet, and this is our suction line. And the superheat right here is rather low. I, what is it? Superheat? No, that's superheat. The differential. So we're coming in at 49 and leaving at 54. Mm, I guess 54 degree suction line. This is R14A. Uh, it should be reasonably, reasonably good superheat. I think so. All right. So that's good. So that's circuit is good. Let's move on to the next one. Let's see uh, condensing accelerated temperature. There's a temperature thermistor on the condenser header. All right. Next circuit. Uh, 51 and 58. Uh, also not too bad. All right, I think these units are also a uh, tandem compressor. Okay. So yeah, we're alive, baby. We're kicking. We are running. And like I said, if you should come across this problem, commercial HVAC, the machine is not going to work. Perhaps what you want to do first is go and check. If you see. All these wires connected, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what they are over here. There is it. Right here. All right. This is seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, no, no, no. What am I saying here? Six, seven, eight. 9 and 10 all there all right you might want to go check if the machine is giving you that symptom where is it saying off and you're hitting auto it's not starting it's not starting it's flashing off so go check that uh night setback panel all right because just by me disconnecting the ground this black wire this one wire right which came off number six all right, all right. This is uh, this wire right here, the ground. Okay. I saved the day. Okay. There you go. That's it all right there. Night setback panel. That was the issue. The machine is running right now. And um, so later on, perhaps after school, I'll go inside and I'll check out. This diagnostic, right? I gotta see what's going on with my night setback panel. Maybe someone just turned it off, system off from over there. I don't know. And uh, I'm gonna show you what gave me that idea. That are the int while I was looking through this thing to go and to go and actually check that or do that. I'm gonna show you. Stay tuned. All right, so here we go. So this right here, as I was looking around. Just scrolling around, strolling around, trying to find something to give me an answer. I went into setup and then I went down to here. General functions and setup. And I hit enter over here and boom, I see that. If remote panel mode input not present, system mode auto. I said, wait a minute. Uh, remote panel of an ability to determine system mode let me investigate a little further and then so I came right here all right where is it right over here this is it right here these are your remote panels right here this is one this is another and once I see this I said all right if I dis if I disable this by removing the common or the ground this panel is going to be rendered useless because you know we have no common we have no ground all right, and once I pulled that wire, the beast was awakened. All right, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If it, if it, helped, you, if it has helped you out, share it. Please share it. And, um, and um, if you have not subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos, videos like this, real world, real HVAC, explained, simplified, as I'm in the field, as I'm doing the work, as I'm standing on the ladder, all right? No editing, real time. All right. 
I'm sure the diagnostic, diagnostic once again, because if you're here, you're, you're very special. If you're still here, you're very special. So I'm gonna show you the diagnostic once again to confirm that it was in fact that panel, night setback panel. Uh, we wanna press next to view. Boom, here you go. All right. I'm up. 